Alright, so the reason that most of y'all aren't gonna be successful as a sneaker reseller in 2023 is because you ignore the brick. Now, what are bricks? Bricks are sneakers that are not hype but still have resale value. Now, times like this, the end of the year to the beginning of the year is always dry, right? And so there aren't Travis's coming out, there aren't Cherries coming out, there aren't just super hype sneakers coming out. So how are we supposed to keep the ship afloat? Every single day, there are shoes that are selling on eBay, selling on StockX that you didn't probably even know about because you only focus on the hype sneakers and in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how to flip bricks I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna show you where to find them and I'm gonna even give you some little tips to help accelerate that now what up my name Rico I make a video every day about how to make money online I need you to drop me a comment I'm trying to touch every place in the world so drop me a comment of where you're from and if I give you some value in this video please subscribe and what I'm gonna show you at the end of this video is what brings it all together so many people are gonna miss out and not get it right because they're gonna ignore that fact so make sure you watch to the end. All right, so the way it works is like this. A lot of times there's gonna be a shoe, and sometimes you can get these shoes for under retail. Sometimes you can get them on sale. And what happens is, is because you can get them under retail or because you can get them on sale, you can then in turn, turn around, sell them on eBay, sell them on StockX for a profit. Now, I bet you're wondering, you're like, bro, how do I get shoes below profit? I'm gonna show you. How do I get shoes on sale? I'm gonna show you. Now me, I'm a logic person, so that means if your brain is anything like mine, one of the first questions you had was bro if these shoes are hype and there isn't a lot of demand for them how are we able to sell them for more and I'm gonna tell you how number one you got to understand some people exclusively shop online right and so if there's a product that they want even if they have to pay more for it to get it online they will get it another big another big slept on part of brick flips that I try to teach people is there's people that wear bigger sizes right and with those bigger sizes a lot of y'all can testify that hey in the malls and stores the bigger sizes aren't there right so they have to shop online to get shoes in their size now you might be asking where are you at right now Rico I am on the inside of Rico's cooks my new cook group and I'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna use my cook group to demonstrate how to flip bricks because one of the sections that we focus on in my cook group is brick flips right how to flip bricks giving that information and this is this is the inside chat I told them to say what's up to YouTube my boy Congo which is one of our members says what's up to YouTube but anyway let's go ahead and jump into these brick flips right and I'm gonna go down the list and just show y'all what we're what we're kind of focusing on right so boom you got to be getting this info from somewhere right so even if you're not in my cook group you definitely need to be in a cook group that's that definitely um supports brick flips if you want to join mine i'm gonna have my link in the description but um basically this channel is dedicated towards finding those type of shoes that i'm telling you about these bricks these shoes that people aren't um really just hype over but still have some resale value right so we're gonna start with this air max right here and i'm gonna tell you the type of information that you get right so boom the retail price on these is 185 right these are on sale then you have a coupon right so let's let's go ahead and go to nike.com it is february it is valentine's month so nike's pretty much running their valentine's special now now notice here i have this come up rakuten activate eight percent cash back right that's a browser plugin that i'm gonna ex that i'm gonna tell y'all all to go get and i'm gonna send you a i'm gonna give you a link in this video but just to just to kind of run just to kind of go over um what it is they basically offer online and in-store cash back right and so you can see here i've earned just on all my purchases i've earned a total of six hundred dollars back just off of purchases using my Rakuten account right boom you also get money for referrals I've also made a bunch of I've also made a, a good amount of money off of referrals as well so um, definitely Rakuten is gonna be what you need need and in this guide oh yeah it even tells you with Rakuten and top cash back what percent back they're offering right so let's go to that shoe so it's already this shoe is already on sale right I'm gonna go ahead and activate 8% cash back okay so we got that eight we got that eight percent cash back active and then boom let's just say for the sake of argument we're gonna do the size 11 we're gonna go to check out boom then we're gonna go to the order review boom and then right here where it asked me do I have a gift card a voucher or something like that I'm gonna do promo code and what did they say love 20 right and then apply that and that brought this down to 137 but 
Remember, Rakuten is giving us 8% cash back. So if we do 137 times 0 0.08, then we will take an additional $10.96 off this price, which we will get back in cash back. So 137.67 minus 10.96. We're getting this shoe for $126, right? Which once again is way down from that retail. Oh wait, it hadn't even applied that. So wait, let's let's 127 18 minus 10 96. So we're really getting this $185 shoe for 116, right? When it's all said and done. You're going to pay this. You're going to pay the 127, but Rakuten stacks that cash back for you, right? So then you come back over here and we're going to look at StockX sales. First off, this isn't the size we have, but in a size 12, that that shoe's going for 366. Jesus Christ. But let's see what, what we could get in that size 11. Size 11 is going for 180. So with fees and everything like that, I would say we'd probably get paid out, I would say 150 to 60. But getting that shoe for 116, that makes it to where it's got hella profit, right? So boom, there's some profit. We're gonna look at another shoe, right? So boom. You got the Air Jordan 1 High OG Taxi Preschool, right? I might I might even want these for my son. Um, so we're going to go ahead and check them out, okay? So here, you see them at 85 bucks. Now, what's the rundown on these? What's So after the 20% off, right, we're going to, boom, my son would wear a 2Y, right? We're going to go check out. We're going to take that other shoe off. Let me go in my bag real quick. Take this other one off, right? And so let's go to check out. Okay. The 20%, the code is already applied to the total, the 20% off, which brings us to a total with taxes and everything like that is $73, right? So when you do 73 times 0 0.08, that's an additional $5 off, right? So, um, 584 so 7361 minus 584 is 67 dollars that you can get this shoe in your hand for right so the last sale was 89 there's a 79 dollar bid right there so there's a couple dollars of profit on that but i'm gonna show y'all a different way to sell these if you're hung up on that profit all right so i'm gonna show y'all another <laughs> trick right um because this is how I like to do it. This is how I like to see the real value of something. All right, so look, I'm going to show y'all something because this is how I like to see if um, the true value of something, right? So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to copy this SKU number, style number, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to copy this style code and I'm going to take it to eBay and search it up, right? And we see this shoe on eBay, but this isn't, this is, that isn't the right way to tell. You're going to go to filter you're going to filter by sold items and then hit apply and then boom here you see that okay now we're getting a better idea right and then ebay's fees are a little less than ebay's fees are a little less than StockX and the other platforms right so we see a size two sold here for 109 right so boom there's profit out here you know what i'm saying but let's do another shoot because I want y'all to get the hang of this. I want y'all to really understand how to do this, right? So, boom, a shoe like this, with it being February and Valentine's season, a shoe like this is really, really gonna, this shoe is just gonna be popular, right? So, boom, we see this this Air Force One low pink, right? With the gum bottom, which is, which is pretty good, by the way. I'm gonna pick any size. I'm gonna add it to my bag. I'm gonna view the bag and delete the other stuff out. And then we're gonna take these out, right? And then boom, it's already got the 20% off applied. That additional 129 times 0 0.08. That's an additional $10 and let's say 40 cents off, right? So um, essentially we could get this shoe for 110, right? And then of course we're gonna go copy this style code and we're gonna check stock X and eBay and then the size I picked which was gonna be I believe a size 10 we would have actually lost money on this right so we would know stock X isn't the place to sell these or try to do it get a six and a half a six 
and the 17 and 18 of course is that even there let's see that this shoe goes for about around the 100 to 150 range so that that would honestly be a risky shoe a risky brick what sizes they even have available on this all right so boom we see that the size 17 is available right so that would probably be the size that i go get because once again when you're brick flipping um you definitely gotta know what's going on and you gotta kind of feel your way around but that's what i'm showing y'all in this video now this next thing i'm about to show y'all is going to be very very valuable now this is real life rico right here i'm gonna tell you what i would do if if i was like man i want to get this shoe i want to flip this shoe um locally is going to be the best way to flip any shoe just being real with you so um this is how i because people ask how well how do you price them right i come to stock x and let's say i had a seven and a half i'd act like i was going to buy it and when you review order boom you see that with shipping processing fees everything like that then it's at about 150 so i try to go 10 to 20 dollars below that so for me i would do 120 130 possibly 140 um on a shoe like this so as you see in my group bro there's bricks for days right if you've got the time if you've got the ambition if you want this bad enough then you can get in here and you can look and see all the bricks that we have and you could just go through here and run it up every day bro so man let me know in the comments what y'all think about this it's your boy rico i love y'all let's get it